Hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we'll be looking at the core content, 1.5, mechanical devices used to produce a movement. Let's get started. So, as you can see from our diagram, this is going to be a really useful part of a revision tool used for you guys at home. If you guys at home want to do the same thing, you can just create this on an A4 sheet of paper and mind map these ideas out. So, there are four types of movement when we're talking about the types of motion we've got in design technology. The first thing I'd like to talk about is the fact that I will go between the word motion and movement. They mean the same thing. So if I'm talking about a movement that's going backwards and forwards, the motion will be to go backwards and forwards. So don't get confused with those two words. If I flip between the two, I essentially mean the same thing. Okay, so the first type of movement we're going to look at is a movement called linear. Now linear moves in a straight line. And it is a movement that we would find on something like, uh, let's say a train, on like a track that just goes forwards. So if you were to describe what the movement or the motion of a train would be, you would say, well, it's a, it's a linear movement. Now, the straight line's important here. So I've underlined that. Now to help me memorize this, let's add a, a little splash of color in there. And to go with it, I'm going to draw a little diagram of a train. With a little carriage on the back. And to help even further, I'm then going to draw in a different colour that movement as an arrow. I don't think I need to, but I'll put it down anyway. Train. <coughs> Our second type of movement is reciprocation. Now the reciprocation movement is quite interesting because it, it does move forward, but it also moves backwards. So you could reciprocate a, a conversation with a, another friend. So if you talk to them and they talk back to you, you're reciprocating backwards and forwards. Same motion or movement can be said about going up and down. So if you think of like a car engine, like a piston, and it drives up and drives down, it's the same thing. You would describe that movement as a reciprocating motion. Okay. So, moving backwards and forwards. In a straight line. Again, that's important, so I've underlined it. It's a straight line. Moreover, the backwards and forwards parts are crucial to the reciprocating movement. Let's assign that a colour. Okay. And I talked about engines, so I'm going to draw some little pistons that will move it up and down, like on a car engine, like that. And then to help me remember what those do, I'm going to put that arrow of movement so I can see that they're going up and down. And again, I've just had the label. It's a piston. Our third type of movement we're going to look at is rotary. Now, rotary movement, it probably goes without saying, is something that rotates around a central point, like a wheel on a, on a car.
So it is a motion that moves around a pit point. Uh, let's add a blob of colour to that one as well. There we go. Now, you don't have to stick to these colours if you don't want to. Might be useful if you're using this as a revision tool later on near exam season. But it's entirely up to you. Uh, let's, let's get my wheel in there. Uh, let's make it look a bit more like a bike wheel. And that movement is going around. So again, I'm going to use that arrow to tell me or remind me what it's doing. It goes without saying, really, but let's jot the example down anyway. Now, our fourth movement is something called oscillation. I have to think about the spelling there for a second. Now, oscillation is a swinging movement. It's a movement that would work on something like a pendulum. Ever seen those devices at home? Sometimes you have them in offices where you have five silver balls that are on a little pendulum and then you pull one back and it knocks this one and it knocks the others and that one flies off and it comes back down again and it swings back up again like that. Well, that motion, that movement, is an oscillating movement, that swinging motion. So it is a motion that swings backward and forward. Now, <clears throat> can you remember how we went to linear and reciprocation, we underlined the word straight. That's because of oscillation. Oscillation swings. Now, if in your exam, you had a question that told you something like, uh, name the movement that goes backwards and forwards. Well, unless they've said it's swinging backwards and forwards, it's gonna be oscillation. If they just say it's backwards and forwards, then it's reciprocation. So, let's get our blob of color in there for this one. There we go. And let's draw our little picture to go with it. And then our movement, which is going to be our swinging movement. You don't have to use these examples. You can, of course, use your own examples. But for this experiment, we're going to be looking at these examples just so that you get a clear picture of what those movements are actually doing. So, in this session, we've looked at and identified the four types of movement that you'll come across in design technology. They are linear, oscillation, reciprocation, and rotary. We've described what those movements do, we've given an example of each one, and we've drawn an example of each one. We've then colour coded it to create a beautiful revision resource that we can use at home. Maybe as a flashcard, or maybe as something we cover up, or just simply look back on. From me at the channel, stay safe. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>